So hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel, finally. Um, I have been saying that I wanted to record a video for so so long and I have just, well I have gotten around to doing it, it's just choosing one that I'm actually happy with. Um, every time I watch it back I turn the life out of myself or I just notice one wee tiny flaw when I'm like no, nobody can say that. One of them is that I always have a double chin. But I just have to agree with myself that I'm never going to get rid of that. It doesn't matter if I was white six stone, I would still have a fucking double chin because my face is just a moon. The moon emoji, that's me. But anyway, so I finally recorded a video, which I hope you all like. So if you want to see how I recreated this really glowy skin with a dark burgundy eye and a dark brown lip, then please keep watching. I'm just going to start by priming my lids with the Helene, um, if you can even, if that's going to focus, it takes about five minutes for it to focus, yeah, but it's a Helene, um, stage one does it say? Not just stage eyeshadow primer, but it's unreal, it's kind of like, um, almost like a mousy pasty concealer, and what I do is I just put that all over the eyelid. I'm going to do one eye at a time because um, it tends to go really cakey if you try to layer it as well. So I'm going to do one eye at a time and this is just a wee flat concealer brush, this Anastasia Beverly Hills concealer brush but you can use absolutely any concealer brush that you like. I'll probably be quicker recording this today as well because um, I know exactly what it is that I'm doing. One thing I hate when I'm recording is I always, like I never practice or anything so like when I come to record a video it's literally just like whatever I think I'm going to do that day and it probably never ever turns out to be what I wanted it to be. So I am going to go in with my Soeva brush. Hmm. If I can find it because this desk is a mess from yesterday. Find it. So I obviously haven't cleaned my brushes from yesterday either. So relax when you say this brush. So this is my Soeva. Um, what brush is it? Two two eight Lux Crease. Every time, every time I go to say that, I'm like Preesh. Lux crease brush, um, and I'm going to be using my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette today. Now, this palette isn't dirty; it's well loved. So please don't judge. So we are going to start by going in with this orangey brownie shade as our transition color. So I'm going to take my Soeva brush and just pack that on, and start putting that in to the crease and blending that right out. And you don't have to keep this more rounded. Hear me, you don't have to as if these are all sitting down copying me. <laughs> but um, yeah, you can do it blown out, you can do it more rounded. It's completely up to yourself. But I'm going to be doing a winged liner as well so So I think I'm just going to do the one eye and then I will go off and do the other eye because it just takes too long and then it looks really messy and then I start crying and I don't know what's going on. Okay so I have that on so now I want to go in with a darker shade to kind of build it up so I'm going to go in with this like burgundy ready brownie colour so it's like a brown um, eyeshadow with like red undertones to it so I'm just going to go in again with that Soeva brush first of all so taking a bit of that on the Soeva brush and just placing this colour a wee bit lower than what we have with our first shadow so just packing that colour on and literally throwing everything everywhere and then again just taking it a wee bit lower and we're going to start to build this colour up first of all. So 
So again, just packing the colour on and doing it in sections rather than in one big movement because it'll just give you better colour payoff and it helps you build that colour just a wee bit more. I'm so glad I'm re-recording this today as well because see every time I'm recording a video I mean my ma comes into the room, my brother comes into the room, the fucking whoever else comes into the room. I'm just like if I wasn't doing anything, if I was just sitting there in my bed on my phone nobody would come in. Like my ma came in yesterday and, all, and our dinner was fucking stinking to and she comes in she's all eh, Nadine do you want roast beef and ham for your dinner? Sorry what? Roast beef and ham? One, uh, no, and two, like you've literally just told everybody what I'm having for my dinner and neither one hank were gypsies, so. <laughs> but like roast beef and ham, like ham and turkey maybe, like but woman it's not Christmas anymore for one. And two, like roast beef and ham, like just new. Colour up a bit more, so I'm going to go in with this little brush, this is my favourite brush ever, this is Morphe. M506 brush so it's just like a really small tiny blending brush and this is just going to keep that colour really really precise for you so I'm just going to pack that colour on so still that ready brownie colour and just right in the crease that's where I'm going to start building that colour up like that's the same colour but because I'm using a smaller dancer brush it's going to look a lot more pigmented for you as well and it's going to really build that colour up so again, in small sections, I'm just going to pack that colour on. I'm really lightly blending it out as well. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, there's a wee towel beside me, I'm just going to dust off whatever's on that brush and then really lightly just blend out the edges of that because we don't want to lose the pigmentation of that because that's what we want but we obviously want it all still to look really seamless and blended together so just at the very edges and there we go so now I am going to just deepen that just a wee bit more so I am going to go in with this dark brown shade in the palette. It does have kind of similar ready undertones but it's a lot darker as well and it's more just brown but it's like a ready browny colour so I'm just going to take that on this wee small Morphe brush again and just apply that to the inner and the outer corner. I feel like it's looking a wee bit patchy is it? Just want to make sure that the eyeshadow is brought up a wee bit more than it was yesterday because when I did it yesterday when I looked back I was literally like you can't even see that. I want to be able to see it, I want it to be dramatic and grungy and just like hello you're actually wearing eyeshadow and it's lovely and I want to know how to do that. But yesterday it wasn't like that at all. I think I'm just never going to get used to seeing myself on camera like everything about me turns me like oh my god I just turned myself <laughs> fantastic so now I want to cut the crease so I'm going to zoom you in just a wee bit more for this it's near zoom you out there good one and then again with that Helm A primer I'm just going to take that and see where we have kind of kept clear here this is where we're going to cut out. So just as if you're cutting the crease, but we don't want to go the full way around. We only want to cut it half the way. So that's going to be basically my starting point. I'm going to go in with a wee turn of a more. Okay, so now we want to press over the top of that Helmy with this shimmery shade. So it's like a copper shimmery shade out of this palette. See the shimmers in this palette? They're actually unreal. Like, they're so pigmented and like, you don't even need to... Usually when you have a shimmer shade, you usually 
need to like wet the brush with fix pots or something for it to stand out but this is literally the the shade on its own and I mean it's still so pigmented what do you see like why can we not Like that's actually unreal. I could leave it like that and not put pigment on it, but I like to be a little bit extra, you know. So I'm just going to go in with that little Morphe brush and some of that red shadow. And I'm just going to blend that into that copper shade just to make sure that it's all nice and blended together. And I like to take it in a bit further at the bottom as opposed to the top because, again, I like it to look like tapered almost. So now I'm going to go in with my glue, this is where I'll probably ruin it, and then just right in where this crease is, where I've cut the crease, and then I'm just going to use that same brush and dip that into the pigment. Very lightly, just place that. The way that we pigment that I was using is um from Inglot number eighty six. I wonder if you can see it in here. So it's kind of like purple, burgundy, red, silver, gold, like absolutely unbelievable. I love the red pigments, so do. Do so some stuff and then just going in with that wee paintbrush. And there we have it guys, it's like a, <laughs> it's like a well, so it is, it's looking really well. So now I'm going to do my winged liner. So the wee liner that I'm using is just Maybelline New York AM where's the name? Well, that's what it looks like there. It's called Matte Ink and it is really good now. So I'm just gonna, first of all, when I do a wing, I like to do this part first. So and I think the mistake people make when they're doing a wing is like, they'll go down to like the end of their eye like try and make their lash line here they shouldn't they should extend that straight across um just gonna clean this up here and then I'm gonna dip back in and then i'm gonna do the tail oh so then what i like to do is i like to open my eye and i like to go Directly see where both of your whatever they're called eyelids meet just directly in that wee line there And straight up and then at the end of that line take that Straight across And then we'll fill that in and then we'll extend the Liner just a wee bit more. So I'm just going to dip back in. Could leave it there, but I'm just going to extend it a wee bit more and make it look just a little bit more sharp. So And that is that. This is where mistakes start to happen, like just leave it alone today. It's fine. I 
I'm just taking collection concealer in the shade Fair. I love this concealer. I don't think there's not one makeup artist who doesn't use this friggin' concealer in Lurgan anyway. Like, I mean, every time I go to the chemist to get it, it's completely, and I mean completely sold out. I literally go to about three different chemists, boots, savers, everywhere. And then I'm just taking away concealer brush. And instead of like dragging it, I like to push it in as opposed to dragging. So when you do the lower lash line, you always want to start off with your darkest colours. So I'm not putting anything in my waterline because I don't really like anything in my waterline to be quite honest. So I'm taking that darkest brown shade first of all and keeping that really close to the lash line. And then we go in with the reddish colour and packing that on and then you want to like kind of almost overlap the two but just make sure that mm -hmm. both the colours excuse me who's that so my camera just turned off but that was fine anyway so I went and did my other eye and I've highlighted this inner corner but I wanted to show you exactly what it was that I used because see these shimmer shades for like oh maybe I should turn on my phone there's a stranger in my bed Oh. Right, so the shimmer shades that I used are, I always, always, doesn't matter what look I do, I always use this for the inner corner highlight, it's unreal. But then I went over it with the tiniest bit of this pink. So, now to move on to the face, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix two foundations today because the foundation that I used yesterday was almost too dark. So just giving them a good shake. So the ones that I'm using is LA Pro Girl and the Born This Way foundation by Too Faced. So I'm just going to take... Two pumps of the Born This Way. Oh, something fell. And one pump of the LA Pro Girl. I'm just going to zoom in maybe a wee tiny bit. Yep. And another wee bit. <laughs> um, and then I am going to take my Beauty Blender and just mix those colours together. So we're done. Beauty Blender. And then I'm just going to pounce that into the skin. Oh, and already primed my skin. I primed it. I've been loving this lately. I love simple products. So I love this illuminating. Um, is it a moisturiser? Kind of skin illuminant radiance cream. But I love it. So there's like wee tiny spackles of gold in it. So it acts as a really nice base. And a really nice primer for your foundation. Um, especially if you have dry skin. My skin's so so dry at the moment. Um. So I've been using that and then I have been just going over it with the Benefit Professional which I can't see on my desk. It's probably fell on the floor somewhere. And then earlier on I already went around my eyebrows with foundation so that when it comes to a plan foundation it makes it that little bit easier. So now I'm going to go in again with the Collection Concealer. This is so, so good if anybody hasn't used it yet. In fur, this one's nearly all done. So I'm going to take a bit of that. Place it underneath my eye. On the other side, I'm just going to move my fringe out of there. My enormous five head. I'm not going to do too, too much because I don't want to bring too much light to my friggin forehead or everybody will be fucking blinded and then I like to go in with the LA Pro Girl concealer as well and this is in the shade Light Ivory I love the shade Toast as well for contouring but I'm not going to contour today because I feel like my foundation is sometimes when I contour I don't even contour I just do it to kind of like bronze up my face a wee bit more um, and I don't feel like my face needs bronzed up too much because personally I'm looking like an ugly limp right now. So just take a wee bit of that. See another thing about, um, what do you call it, like recording YouTube videos. Like say when I watch them back I notice so many different wee flaws like in my face. Like, I never knew I had a fucking crooked nose until I started 
<laughs> film myself and I literally look at it there's like a wee bump and it like curves around here and I'm just like what the fuck is that like where'd that come from and then I always have a double chin like what's that about can you please go away okay so now that I'm looking absolutely gorgeous <laughs> I'm um, I'm going to take my Kefon D contour palette and I go in oop, with this like banana shade and this more peachy, there's a really peach one here but I don't use that at all. I use this one and this one to set everywhere that I put my concealer so just going in with this wee Real Techniques brush again and just taking the two colours and I like to press it in first and then dust it off. People are going to probably think I'm full of shit because see the many times that I've said that I'm going to upload a YouTube but I swear like I just every time I record it I'm just like you can't let anybody say that like you literally look ridiculous but now I've got this stage like I don't even care how much I'm impressed because there's no one in Largan who's trying to impress anyway and then I just like to roughly dust into both my colours and place it all over my face. So now I am going to go in with another Real Techniques brush because I love them. And I am going to take my Bahama Mama bronzer. This is by The Balm. And it's like a really kind of like a cool tone bronzer. It's not too dark so I really like it for just really trying to warm up my face. under that jaw to make my double chin look a lot more slimmer and then I'm just going to spread the face let that sink in a little minute and then I take a little brush and my Gilded Honey by Laura Geller and I just apply that. It's literally like my favourite highlighter ever. Everybody I've said to about it, like, they've just, they're all on the bandwagon now. They all love the Gilded Honey. <laughs> and then, I don't think I have any left. Let me see. No, usually I have like this bronze, like Beck bronzer from Revolution and it's like browns, but it's like a shimmery brown and I love putting it on top of the highlight, just in between the highlight and the bronzer because it makes it look all nice and blended in together. So I'm just going to take a wee bit of that Bahama Mama by the Balm and I'm just going to blend that all in together because I hate when it looks like there's just a big massive strip of highlight and just down the neck and then lastly we want to do our lips so this is literally my favourite lipstick I've worn ages so Jouer, Jouer, Jouer I don't know how to say it I'll show you the actual packaging of it um, what do you call it? I got the mini holiday collection. There's my phone again. I'm so fucking popular. So I got the mini holiday collection, I think it was. And they're literally unreal. So I think I'm going to invest in the actual, like, properly size. So don't laugh when you see this wee tiny lipstick. But I just want to show you the name of it anyway. So I don't know how to pronounce it, but... Excuse me, please focus if you can see that. It's probably upside down, is it? Stick. Like my lips so aren't even, I'd love to get them done just to kind of even them out. Like this side, this part of my lip here is thinner than this side and then under here somewhere is like different sizes as well. But So then I'm going to take one last spray. Right, I knew I had lipstick on my teeth. Mm. 
I'm gonna go and take away spray of foundation for my spray of perfume. Am I joking? <laughs> so weird. So, yes, so this is the finished look, guys. I hope 